Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be using the filters and effects to create a sweet little game over screen. For example, if my player falls down, we kind of get a desaturation and some waviness going, and then the player could restart the game. So that's what we're going to be creating. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. <laughs> If you're looking for the source code for this tutorial and the other tutorials, you can check out my Patreon account. The link's in the description below. If you like what you see, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. So we have our IDE open in front of us here. If we go into the room, we have a basic setup. Instances, we have our two tile sets, and then we just have the background. YoYo Games has given us access to these new filters and effects layers, and this is what we're actually gonna use to create this effect. So I'm going to create two of them. The first effect we are going to use is going to be the distort effects. So you can see it's kind of wavy here and then in effect two we want to get rid of the color so we'll use desaturate now we have access to this intensity here and this is what we're going to actually use as well as the scale and the amount here so let's rename these layers so we can actually use them in game maker studio so for the desaturate we'll name it as the filter underscore desaturate and for the distort we will use filter distort now i'm going to turn these off so i'm going to change the scale to zero and the amount to zero i'm going to take the desaturate saturation and turn that off so what we want to have happen is when the player falls in the hole we want that kind of game over effect to happen so i'm going to go to assets and i have a object death zone here just going to click it and drag it out and this is just a blank object there's absolutely nothing in it we're just using it for a collision so what we want to have happen is actually let's do a draw event so this does not draw when we go into the player we will do a collision event so we'll say when the player collides with the object death zone then and in here, what we want to do is we want to instantiate. So we'll say uh, instance create depth. The X and Y location doesn't matter. The depth doesn't matter either. And we want to create our game over effects object. And then we just want to remove the player. So we'll say instance destroy. Now the game over effects object has absolutely nothing in it and we are going to code it. So it's going to interact with the room. So the filter desaturate and distort here. So in the object game over, we need a create event and then we will also need a step event. In the create event, we have to get the layers that we are using for the effects and just store them in a unique ID. So that means we're going to create two variables. We're going to have one for the layer to saturate, which is the desaturation filter. And then we're going to have a distort layer, which is going to be the distort filter. Now we're going to need some variables to kind of go through those different items. So we have a saturation, a distortion and an amount. So to keep things simple, we will just use those particular variables. Now in the step event, what I wanna do is I just basically wanna lerp each of those variables to their actual variable that we had set. So the saturation is gonna take all of the saturation out over time. The distort and the amount is going to also move over time until it hits eight for the distort and the amount of randomness, the noise is gonna be set to 50. Now the next thing we need to do is actually apply these amounts into the shaders. And to do that, what we will use is a new function called FX set parameter, and it's going to use a filter effect and then a parameter name and the value. For example, we are going to use our desaturation layer. We are then going to change the intensity. So if we go into the room and we go to desaturation, we're changing this intensity value here. So we are going to change it over time and we are going to set it to the saturation variable which loops from zero to one so that will set our desaturation now let's do the same for the distortion which we are setting the scale and the amount and the amount we're going to floor as it needs a whole number so with just this little bit of code here, when our player hits the death zone, we're gonna create that game over effect and that's gonna enable the filters for us. So if I run my game here, I should be able to move left and right. And when I fall in this hole, you can see everything just kind of wobbled, the color went away and we have a nice kind of game over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. If you like the video and the content of this channel, please leave a like and hit that notification bell. A special shout out to the following users on Patreon. Dicesite, Ashby, Edward, Timothy, Paul, Robert, Annie, and Victor. Once again, thank you everyone for showing your support. I'll see you in the next video.